guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I thought I would share some of the highs and unfortunately some of the lows from our annual family vacation. We recently got home from the vacation, so I want to kind of document some of these memories while they're still fresh and just kind of share them with you guys as well. If you guys watched my video for last year's family vacation, we actually went to the same location. So it was really cool to like be in the same place and kind of see like, or just kind of remember Jack being a, you know, relatively newborn. <laughs> um, and then now like getting to see him actually experience the beach, that was something that was really cool. So let's go ahead and jump into some of these highlights. So to start is this was the first time that we went on vacation or really left for an extended period where we had our chickens. And so I had to have my friend come and, you know, check on the eggs and stuff like that, check in the water. And she sent me this picture. There was this tiny little egg in the bunch. I don't know exactly if this means anything medically for our chickens, but I thought it was pretty interesting. And then I tried this hack that I saw on TikTok regarding packing, where I packed like our family's clothes in an over the door organizer. And I did like outfits per day or whatever. And it worked really nicely. I rolled up this entire thing, put it in a bag and just threw it over the door when we got there. And it made getting outfits a whole lot easier. And I'm definitely doing this again in the future rather than just digging in a suitcase for something. Then we have Jack here sleeping. This was kind of a rare occurrence, but I was just like, oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I don't usually be in the same room while he's napping. And so it was just kind of cute to capture this picture. I mentioned we went to the same house and last year I actually made this s'mores dip dessert for everyone and the house last year had like a little fire pit so we could have made s'mores but this year I guess they had like done some renovations or whatever they took it out and uh, this dip was the only way that we really could enjoy some s'mores. So I just baked the, like I layered this pan with chocolate and then marshmallows, cooked it at like 400 degrees just until the tops look nice and golden. It did get a little smoky, but this was perfect. And honestly, I prefer s'mores this way because you get the marshmallows nice and gooey. You get like the chocolate is like nice and melted and there's nothing like really crunchy and hard and cold with the you know warm marshmallow. In my opinion, it's the way to go. It's a lot easier to make and you can serve everyone all at once. And the next clip is a little gem we caught of Jack and one of his cousins bouncing on my mom's legs. Go. So anyways, that was just a really funny clip. He didn't he was making like a funny smile face and just having fun with his grandma. We did actually capture some dolphin footage during our stay, so I wanted to show you guys some of the like up close clips of the dolphins that we saw. And then usually like once a day we went down to this little like sandy area that's like a house and a half away from the house that we were staying and we just caught some footage of Jack playing in the sand so much different again from last year where he was just being held by everyone and really he didn't even roll over I remember he rolled over like the day that we left like we had already left and then that was the first time he rolled over so a big difference from the last time we were at this place And then one of the days Juan wanted to drive around a bit, we captured, you know, a whale's tail in the clouds and Bubby doing some funny things in the car seat while we drove around. What are you doing, Jack? Silly. 
Silly Jack. Silly Jack. So unfortunately, as I mentioned, there were some lows on this trip, mainly being that we got some type of illness. Some other family members were sick as well on the trip. So I don't know if like we caught their germs or if we caught germs some other place, you know, along the way, but we got sick and it was mainly the kids like just kind of like a dry cough. I think Jack got a fever at some point. And I think I kind of experienced a little bit of like cold symptoms, kind of like nasally, like headache type of stuff. So that really wasn't fun. And then this whole sleeping situation was horrible. The room itself was like perfect for our family, but Jack just isn't used to having people in the room. So when he woke up and he's in this little pack and play, he's just screaming right in my face. And it, it kind of felt like last year's vacation all over again. Last year, he started his like four month or six month sleep regression, like the first day of vacation. And so I was getting horrible sleep then and I got horrible sleep on this vacation. I, I had a breakdown one day because I was just so exhausted. I just was like sobbing. I was like, I need to sleep. And so luckily, you know, my family kind of picked up my slack where I couldn't fill in because I was just so wiped out from having Jack like wake up and then he'd like scream for an hour. Like there were times, I'm surprised Aubrey slept through it, but there were times that he would like scream for like an hour at night. And I felt so bad for like my family in like the nearby rooms, like, gosh, I don't hope he doesn't wake them up. Like it was the anxiety of like burdening them and then dealing with him. I had to just say good night, lay him down. I left the room, let him cry for like 10 minutes. And then he like put himself to sleep because I mean, he's capable of that, but it was just a big struggle. So like the lack of sleep coupled with being sick and stuff like those were definitely some lows. And something that was also a low was I really wasn't anticipating like us getting sick on the vacation. So I really didn't pack for it. like. The thought crossed my mind as I was preparing and packing for this vacation, but I ended up not packing a thermometer, not packing extra medicine just in case. And so I was completely unprepared. Also, I, I wasn't thinking like, I didn't think any of my family would be sick. And then I didn't think we would really be interacting with other people. And like, so I just didn't think we would get sick. So anyways, that brings me to our sponsor for today's video. I'd like to thank Asanto for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this baby health care and grooming kit. This set comes with a lot of essentials for taking care of small children, and as a bonus, a number of the supplies can even be used for adults as well. The 27-piece set comes with a baby brush and comb, an LED ear pick, a baby bath brush, a grip nail clipper, a finger toothbrush, a digital thermometer, standard and glass nail files, baby tweezers, baby scissors, a nasal aspirator, a medicine dropper, five alcohol pads, a measuring spoon, and an electric manicure set. There are different attachments provided to best care for the sensitive skin of babies of different ages. I love that all of these products fit nicely in the provided case, making it easy to pack all the essential healthcare and grooming items for a vacation, or even just to have organized at home. If this product seems like something you would be interested in getting, I will put the Amazon link down below in the description box. Again, I'd like to thank Asanto for sponsoring this portion of today's video and providing me with essentials I will definitely not forget to pack the next time we go on vacation. So yeah, I really wish I had had this on the vacation, coupled with packing some like cough drops that we already have at the house and baby Tylenol that we already have at the house. I just wish I would have came a little bit more prepared so that I wouldn't feel like such a horrible mom on vacation. Like it broke my heart to see them sick. I was already emotional and exhausted from not sleeping and feeling like a bad mom, like I failed my kids didn't help. <laughs> But that was like our lows. Let's wrap this video up with some other highs from our trip. So here I'm showing you guys like the view from the second story of the house. There are three stories and we just loved watching like the waves crash on 
the rocks at the bottom of the steps. And you guys will kind of see our view like right to left, like what our little, uh, you know, view was from this balcony. But I wanted to share probably my two favorite memories. So there was one time where one of um, Jack's cousins was holding him and Jack just like slaps him in the face. And I'm like, Jack, be gentle. And then he does it again, a big hit. And his his cousin, who, um, you know, is like seven, eight years old, the last boy, uh, you know, besides for Jack, he was like, this is what I prayed for. <laughs> it was the funniest thing because, you know, there's been just so many girls born ever since him. And he always wanted like another boy cousin. And so here Jack's just being rough with him and slapping him in the face. And he was just so ecstatic about it. It was hilarious and endearing at the same time. And speaking of endearing, this vacation was the first time that Jack's ever really given me a kiss. And my mom tried to capture like little, you know, stills of Jack giving me some loving. But that was definitely one of my favorite memories was just sharing that tender moment with him. Uh, and then we have just some other stills of me and my mom and our little family on the last day of vacation. Um, you know, I, I'm not too, to be honest, I, you know, I don't like how I look in these photos, but I know that it's worth taking the photos. And this last still is how Jack fell asleep with like chips right in front of his face on the way home. Again, he wasn't feeling very well and he just kind of knocked out, but <laughs> after eating, you know, some pretzels. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video and kind of seeing some highlights from our vacation for 2023. If you guys are new here, I'd love to invite you to subscribe and stick around. I'm slowly getting back into like filming and getting back to my regular schedule of Mondays and Fridays posting videos. We got like parties coming up and organizing. So anyways, um, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.